Hey there folks, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, where today I am reviewing a product from Thrunite. This is the Thrunite TH30 headlamp, rechargeable. This is one powerful headlamp. This thing rocks on turbo mode. 3,350 lumens. I've been using this product for multiple months now so I can give you guys the most accurate and best review possible. I've used this backpacking, hiking, I even use this canoeing, and it works well, but there are some issues with it. There are a few areas where you need to ask yourself, is this going to work well for you? So with that being said, let's jump to the review right now. The TH30 headlamp runs on one 18650 IMR battery. The weight of the headlamp with battery and head strap is 6.1 ounces. It is available in cool white and neutral white. The LED is a Cree XHP 70.2 LED, which as mentioned before on turbo offers you 3,350 lumens and can throw that beam roughly 155 meters. This is a rechargeable headlamp and it features a micro USB charging port. It has a rubber cover over it and so far in my testing I've had no issues with the cover coming off or anything like that. And yes, I have carried this in the rain and it's done a good job. I've had no issues when it comes to waterproofness and so on. Speaking of which, it is IPX rated for 2 meters impact resistant to 1.5 meters. If you purchase this headlamp, this is what you are going to get. You get the flashlight, battery, head strap, comes in this box. Instructions, USB to micro USB charging cable, warranty information, pocket clip, an additional rubber mount for the head strap, two additional O-rings, and a cover for the charging port. The included 18650 battery from Thrunite is a 3100 milliamp hour battery. Now, as mentioned before, this is an IMR battery. Essentially, IMR batteries are made for very high discharge rates. And that's what this headlamp needs to produce that 3350 lumens. Now, while this headlamp offers you a ton of power, Unfortunately, it's very momentary. As soon as you fire it up to turbo, that will last for roughly one and a half minutes until it gets hot. And then after that, anytime you go to turbo, it could drop down even quicker. This thing will get extremely hot. So it goes from 3,350 lumens down to 1,050 lumens, which in my opinion is a little bit odd considering that the next level, which is high, that is 1,275 lumens. So it goes from turbo to an even lower level. On the medium setting, you were offered 352 lumens. The next level is what Thrunite calls medium low, and that is 130 lumens. Next, you have low, that is 25 lumens. Then you have Firefly, which is half a lumen. Then it has SOS mode, which is 645 lumens. And that is actually built into the different steps. So you don't have to go do a special combination of clicks to access that. Personally, I don't care for the SOS functionality. I wish it wasn't there. And I definitely wish it wasn't part of the steps of this headlamp. This is a functionality that most people don't want, don't need, and they certainly don't want that in the stepping. So you have to go through that to cycle through. It just adds an additional unnecessary step. This headlamp does feature memory functionality. There is a battery power indicator here, which does glow when you're using the headlamp. When you're charging the headlamp, the indicator will glow red. If there is an issue with charging, it will glow purple. If it's fully charged, it it will glow blue. Once you get down to 10% battery, it will flash three times. Now with the pocket clip, you can run this in two different ways, from the top and from the bottom. From the top, as you guys could see, it is not a deep carry. From the tail, it sits pretty deep. Now, when it comes to the battery life for this headlamp, in general, it is very good. On the high setting, you were looking at roughly 90 minutes of runtime. On the medium setting, you're looking at roughly five hours. Continuing to talk about the pros for this headlamp, the construction is excellent. The quality is very, very good. And that's what I would expect from Thrunite. I say that over and over again, but Thrunite generally produces very good products. And this trend continues with the TH30. It's easy to use, easy to charge. Speaking of charging, charging's fairly quick. With a 1.5 amp source, charging takes roughly two and a half hours from dead. That's not bad. I like the fact that it has an indicator light. That's good. The fact that it can be charged from any USB cable is fantastic. No proprietary plugs, nothing like that. That's a huge win. 
Another pro for this headlamp is the power that this headlamp provides. It is very, very good. It can be extremely bright, and the stepping is very adequate. Again, I wish that the SOS mode was not integrated into the stepping. It just doesn't need to be there. It needs to be hidden away, so if you happen to want it, you can have access to it, but it's not part of the main functionality. It's just that additional step which you have to click through to get to the light mode that you want. Since I mentioned that point again, let's just go ahead and talk about cons here because there are some. First off, this is not very comfortable, unfortunately. This big rubber pad, which connects the headlamp to the head strap, is uncomfortable. You can put this thing on and in no time you will have an indention on your forehead. It's not very comfortable. This is a complaint which most people have with this headlamp. If you are going to wear this, put it over a ball cap, put it over a beanie, something like that, you really don't want to have this thing next to your skin. You do have part of the strap here which comes between your forehead and that rubber pad, but unfortunately it's not enough to give you any real division. So yeah, you will have some marks on your head if you have this directly against your skin. Now with that being said, the head strap is fully adjustable. You know, it does what it needs to do. For me personally and with my testing, there are two big issues with this headlamp. One, this takes an 18650 IMR battery. So if you have a handful of 18650 batteries at the house, you can put them in here it may fire up, but if you flip over to turbo mode, this thing will shut itself down. And in my case, it temporarily bricks the headlamp. In my opinion, this is an odd security feature. This thing will stay bricked until I put an IMR battery back in it, then it will run just fine. You can put a non IMR battery in it and it will go through all the modes except turbo with no issue. But if you accidentally flip over to turbo, the thing will be temporarily bricked. Yes, this thing does have a lot of power to offer on tap, but coming to my next point, it's only for a limited period of time. For less than one and a half minutes, this thing could run on turbo. Otherwise, it drops down to cool itself off because it gets so hot. Less than one and a half minutes on turbo, in my opinion, doesn't really equate to a headlamp that is 3,350 lumens. With those points being considered, do you go out and purchase this headlamp here, which does include the battery, or do you go with a different headlamp, which utilizes all 18650 batteries? What do you do? Ultimately, it depends on your needs. Personally, I wouldn't go with a headlamp that would require a special battery, especially if it can't keep that constant level of power, which is the reason for having the battery in the first place. Continuing to speak about the turbo mode with my testing here, because it lasts such a short period of time, I found that I never even used it. I would just skip it in general. If you're on turbo mode, it drops down to almost 1000 lumens, which is lower than high, which is very odd to me. I'm not sure why they did that. So with that being said, just stay on high and use that level of performance if you need it. Medium, in my opinion, operates just fine and produces a lot of light. So folks, that is pretty much it for the Thrunite TH30 headlamp. Retail price is 80 bucks. You can find these on Amazon for roughly $70. The size is pretty good, makes for a good little flashlight. It makes for a good headlamp, but it does have some oddities there. Thrunite's made some odd decisions, in my opinion, with this headlamp. Ultimately, the question is, would I go out and purchase this headlamp myself? And I think I would personally skip this one. If you have a bunch of IMR batteries, you're good to go. But if you have a bunch of regular 18650 batteries, they're not really going to work properly with this headlamp. Some won't work, some will, some will brick it temporarily. That's my opinion. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about the TH30 headlamp little flashlight. Quality wise, it's fantastic. Size wise, very good. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts everybody. I will see you all around. Strength and honor. See you guys.